Have you guys ever baked with avocados before? It may sound crazy, but you aren't gonna believe how super chocolatey and delicious these avocado brownies come out. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And if you love this recipe, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is de-seed and scoop out our avocado. This recipe calls for one large avocado, and although there's really no like scientific way of knowing what's like a large avocado versus medium and small, this is what I consider a large avocado, so that's what I base my recipe off of. Ooh, guys. You always have to congratulate yourself when you pick a great avocado. And I think I did that just now. Check out Whoa. this beauty. It's like you win the lottery when you get one this good, I swear. Maybe it's just like a weird California thing. Because sometimes you open them up and they're like rotted and they look terrible inside. It's like fungus in there and they're expensive. You know, avocados are very expensive. So this is a huge win. All right, so now I'm just gonna use a spoon and I'm gonna scoop out this avocado and just drop it right into the uh, food processor. Now, you know, it's truly amazing what avocados add in the baking process. When you think about it, it kind of makes sense though, because anytime you're working with avocados in a recipe, you'll notice that the avocados give the recipe a creaminess that is almost like a heavy cream, but you know, done in sort of a you know, cleaner and more uh, healthy way. And that's exactly what these avocados do in this recipe. They really make these avocado brownies super creamy. But I'll tell you, the first time I researched this recipe, I was like, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but it turned out fantastic. Next thing we're gonna add are two eggs. Next we're gonna add our three tablespoons of room temperature butter. Now I'm not a huge baker, as you guys probably have noticed, but room temperature butter here is preferred. I feel like I've gotta call my friend John from Peppery Kitchen who can tell me exactly what the difference is between using cold butter and using room temperature butter when you're baking. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments below. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of maple syrup. And we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of coconut sugar. So I don't have a proper three quarters of a cup measuring cup. So I'm gonna use a quarter of a cup and a half a cup, which makes three quarters of a cup. Uh, the really cool thing about coconut sugar, if you've ever used it in a recipe, is you've probably seen that although it's sweet, it's not like overly sweet. It's not like using brown sugar or granulated white sugar. Coconut sugar is definitely more mellow on the sweetness, and that's why I really like to use it. Next thing we're gonna add is one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna give this a blend. Next thing we're gonna do is add more of our dry ingredients. So we're gonna start with half a cup of almond flour. And you guys have probably been wondering, when are we gonna add the chocolate? Well, that time is now. Here is the cocoa powder. We are also gonna add one half a cup. Oh, this is dangerous. You know when you feel like you're about to do something really dumb? I just caught myself from probably emptying about half of this container of cocoa powder in there. So let's just go slow, take our time. We're not in a rush. I'm gonna use a spoon to get all this cocoa powder into my measuring cup. Okay, one half cup cocoa powder. And the last thing we're gonna add for now is one teaspoon of baking soda. So let's just give this another blend in our food processor. Ooh, it's looking creamy. Beautiful, okay. That's all we need to do. Let me show you guys how it's looking. I mean, Brayden, please come get a shot of this. Look at that. If that doesn't look like the best brownie batter you have ever seen, like, I don't know what to tell you because that looks beautiful. To be honest, like, do you know where that creaminess came from? Avocados and the cocoa powder probably helped too. But this looks great, let's move on. All right, so next we're gonna pop out the blade of the food processor and then we are going to add in our chocolate chips. So the recipe calls for half a cup of chocolate chips. I'm gonna add first a quarter of a cup. I mean, if you wanna add a couple more chocolate chips, I won't tell anyone. Let's add a couple more. Okay, there we go. All right, so just kind of fold them in. We just wanna mix them around just a little bit. All right, for the next step, we're gonna take this batter and put it into our baking dish. I have an eight by eight baking dish here. That's a pretty good size for the amount of batter that we're gonna have, so that's what I suggest you use. I've already cut some parchment paper. I didn't cut it perfectly to size and there's a reason for that. But let me add the batter in here and then I'm gonna show you why after. So I take the parchment paper and I'm gonna lay it over the top of this baking dish. And again, this is an eight by eight baking dish. 
I mean, it's amazing. This batter is super light and fluffy. Now we're gonna spread the brownie batter all into the pan. Just try to get it into each edge. Oh, guys, I always forget to tell you. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I am so sorry I didn't tell you that from step one. Hopefully you already printed out the recipe for my website and you already saw to do that. All right. So the last thing we're gonna do before we pop these brownies in the oven is add the remaining quarter cup of chocolate chips. So I am just gonna sprinkle these guys all over. There's no real method to this. You just kind of get them nice and evenly distributed. I told you guys I was gonna tell you why this baking paper looks so sloppy. Well, it looks sloppy because it just doesn't fit, but there's a reason for that. After we bake these brownies, we are gonna use this baking paper to lift the brownies out, set them on the counter, and then cut them that way. It's very hard, I find, to cut the brownies when they're in the baking pan. You also might scratch your baking pan with your knife. So there's really no reason to do that. Just leave a little extra parchment paper around the edges and you can use it as a handle. Now we're gonna pop these in the oven and cook for anywhere between 25 and 30 minutes, but we're gonna check them at the 25 minute mark. All right, guys, the brownies are totally ready. Let's take them out. Oh my gosh, these look so incredible. All right, so let me show you why I used the parchment paper the way that I did. So all you have to do is just grab essentially the handles here and just pop them right out and they come out so easily. And now we can cut these brownies out of the pan, which I think is so much easier and so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna give these a cut. Uh, let's go here. Whoa, look at the chocolatey chocolate. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna give them another cut here. All right, let's scoop out one of these guys. Oh, I mean, come on. Look at this, Brain. get a shot of this. Look at how beautiful and moist these avocado brownies are. Oh. All right, I cannot wait to give these a try, but before I do, if you've loved this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my dessert recipes playlist. Okay, let's give this a try. These are so good. These are the best brownies I've ever had and I'm telling you, I'm comparing them to traditional brownies. These avocado brownies are the best. Guys, you have to make them. I really, really hope you do. I'll see you in the next video.